You've got Bob Kraft quoting Giselle after he invites the Bradys over to his house. Uh, that effing Belichick, he doesn't treat my Tommy like a man. <laughs> yeah, uh, show of hands, who, not not to say that Mr. Kraft isn't telling the truth. I, I mean, I'm going to need another source saying that she actually said that. That sounds like a perfectly crafted, get it, line. Um because I don't know. I then that was that was my problem with the doc. A lot of the things that Kraft said, it was just like, yep, he said it. And even when he talks about, you know, his sort of not rags to riches story, but he's like, I was able to buy this team because of my hard work and I turned this paper company. Like his wife, Myra Kraft, her family, the Hyatt family, H I A T T in Worcester, Massachusetts, had a fortune from her father's packing company. And Bill bought, I mean, uh, excuse me, Robert Kraft had a 50% interest in that. And that is the capital that he used to be able to buy an NFL team. You can't, like, you need so much money to buy an NFL team. And at the time, it was the highest uh, price anyone had paid for it. So there were a lot of things where it's like, he, we weren't. We weren't getting lies, but we also weren't necessarily getting like the full fleshed out truth, which I also understand because this was a doc that was meant to entertain people who weren't like as in the weeds on my craft as I happen to be. I'm surprised by the reaction because I figured all Boston fans, Patriot fans just figured the same thing. Yeah, Belichick was the reason this dynasty broke up, right? I mean, I was pretty surprised too, Stu, but I was also surprised. I think that when, you know, when it's one of your own, as a lot of people in New England think of, of Belichick, it's like, <laughs> it's like, well, like we can criticize him. You can't right. like, well, how dare you take down this guy who gave us six championships and who everybody I've seen so many people be like, and the defense in, in that last Super Bowl win. And I'm like, that was the worst game ever to watch. But yes, Bill, it was his Mona Lisa. Like, we'll give him that. Charlotte, it's hard for me to believe that irascible, curmudgeonly Bill Belichick was agreeable for this project. What do you think? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I feel like that was he was still the coach of New England. He sat for that interview before the 2023 season. And I feel like this was very much a craft directive of like, I don't know this for sure. I, this is speculation on my part. I feel like there's probably a you will sit down for this and you will do it. And Belichick treated it the way he's treated his whole career, which is that he does not feel the need to defend himself. He didn't he didn't get into it. And a lot of people have compared the dynasty to the last dance and I think there's a huge difference there because in the last dance, you had players going at it like, you know, Michael Jordan would say something. Horace Grant would say something. Scottie Pippen would say something. It was fun. They were all into it. They were all playing on the same level. And then for this, you really just had Bill like taking the punches and not fighting back, which I think is actually a very smart PR strategy because look at the response. He's almost done more for his image in taking it in this dock for, for people in New England than he could have anywhere else because, like, look at the last four years of the Patriots. It was not good.